beasts do you want to work this but don't know how well then this is the perfect video for you welcome to the born fia beast youtube channel my name is brady becker and i'll be showing you a workout that works the lateral head the medial head and the long head of the tricep so without further ado let's hop into it <laughs> Our first exercise is tricep pushdown variations. Now with the variations, it's not necessarily to work one tricep more than the other at a time. It's just because whenever you do this, you can do more weight by putting your head on either side so that cable doesn't get in the way. But whenever you do it, make sure that your elbows are not going more than 90 degrees up and make sure you are getting a full range of motion down to the bottom, getting a great contraction. Make sure that whenever you do this exercise, your foot moves accordingly with your head. If your foot is out on the right side, then your head is on the right side. And make sure you do 10 to 15 reps on each arm. Between sets, it is so important to make sure you're staying hydrated. And to do that, I am drinking BCAAs by First Form. They are so delicious to keep me hydrated. The second exercise, is a close grip bench press using a curl bar. With this exercise, you wanna make sure you are even on the bench, and you also wanna make sure your hands are even on the bar. Then, you wanna come down and touch your chest, then do 100 explosive reps. Whenever you do this exercise, make sure that you only go around half range of motion. Do not go full range of motion. When you're going half range of motion, your triceps are a lot more activated and we'll get a even better pump. And just note, it's okay to rest. This is a hard exercise to do, especially when you're using 50, 60, 70 pound curl bars. Do not rest for more than three seconds because the longer you rest, the least amount of time your triceps are going to be activated. You want your triceps activated at all times. Whenever I'm done doing my 100 explosive reps, I'm then going to go into 10 burnout reps of full range of motion. I do this to really push my triceps to their limit so I can force muscle growth. Along with staying hydrated, it is so important to stretch in between sets so you do not get injured. What I heard, torn muscles are no fun. The third exercise is tricep pushdowns with the rope attachment. Make sure that your elbows do not go past 90 degrees at the top. By doing this, you're getting an even better contraction and focusing more on your triceps. Along with focusing on your triceps, make sure you split that rope at the bottom to get a great squeeze and contraction and force that muscle growth. The fourth exercise is single arm tricep pushdowns. This exercise is very self-explanatory. This is just so you get more of a unilateral feel to your triceps, so you're focusing on only one at a time, just in case anything is uneven whenever you're doing tricep pushdowns with both arms. Whenever you do this exercise, do around 10 to 15 reps on each arm. And also, I don't use an attachment for this. There's a little ball at the top of the clip and I hold on to that and go cross body down, making sure I get a great squeeze and contraction on my triceps. The fifth and final exercise is diamond push-ups. The diamond push-ups really target your triceps. A lot of people think that push-ups, any kind of push-ups, target your chest, but that is not true. It really depends on how you have your hands. When you have it in a diamond formation, it targets the triceps. I find that whenever I do burnout sets of 25 reps, then 15 reps, then 10 reps of this exercise, it really targets my triceps, and it's a great way to conclude the workout. What a banger workout. I hope you guys enjoyed the workout and followed along. Let me know what you guys want me to show you next. Every Wednesday, I'll be adding to the series called Workout Wednesday, where I'll be showing you how to work each body part. It could be something small like the forearms or the traps, or something big like the glutes. Just let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, 
click the link in the description and follow all my other socials. And also, sign up for a Born to be a Beast workout program. In the link will be a form that you fill out and will have personalized questions that I will use to make you a workout based on your needs and preferences. Whatever you aspire, I will make your desires come true and you can grow your muscles. So with that all said and done, I got to go stretch. I got another wrestling season starting and I do not want to be stiff for that. I got to loosen out the joints. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.